demonstration shows how to use the Clarin infrastructure, its tools and integrated services for application in the research field of digital humanities. We will show how to find and analyse digitised historic material available through the Virtual Language Observatory. The material will then be processed with a language resource switchboard, where many tools are available to perform different textual analysis, suited for different research fields. This first demonstration exemplifies how Clarin can support research in the area of cultural history aimed at understanding the perception of mental health throughout time. The Virtual Language Observatory makes it possible to quickly find the pearls in the chest. Researchers can then use the tools they discover in the Language Resource Switchboard to polish the raw material according to their needs. In the Virtual Language Observatory, search for the term Mental Health and look for the material that has been provided within the Europeana collection. The Lunacy Law, its defects, and a scheme of reform pamphlets looks interesting for the aim of our research because it shows medical and legal points of view regarding the treatment and confinement of the lunatic. We will process the text with the Language Resource Switchboard. We choose the Voyant Tools, a web-based distant reading and analysis environment. The left box shows the numbers of the appearance of the word in the text, which helps grasping the focus of the text. The graph on the top right box shows the relative word frequency in a specific part of the document and the bottom right box shows the words in context and the correlations. We have a clear visualisation of the most frequently used words in the text, the context in which they are, and the correlation with other words. By including more texts, we can easily build a corpus in support of the above-mentioned research. Starting from the same texts, we will perform a different analysis with a different tool. We return to the Language Resources switchboard and we choose the tool Weblicht constituency parsing. The syntactic constituency relations involving the terms lunacy and insanity can provide us deeper insights in the use of these concepts in the context of the 19th century. Weblicht supports federated login, ensuring easy access for academic users. Once logged in, the tool can be run. The text is analysed by sentence. An overview of the sentences is available in the Sentence in Context box. The tree visualisation shows the syntactic structure of the sentence. This structure is also shown in Table View. The constituency relations are quickly obtained and can be easily downloaded with the result of speeding up the research process. We will perform an analysis of the same text to understand dependency relations. This analysis can be interesting for researchers in the field of computational linguistics and natural language processing. We stored the digitized pamphlet in text format in the B2Drop online cloud, a platform which allows to edit documents collaboratively. From B2Drop, we can read directly the language resource switchboard. We see a PDF and a TXT version. We have collaboratively edited the TXT version. We now process the TXT file with the Language Resources switchboard. And we choose the tool UDPipe, a pipeline for tokenization, tagging, lemmatization, and dependency parsing. We run the tool. Finally, we can inspect and export the outcome of the analysis the past sentences as a table or as a tree diagram.
McLaren contributes to the European Open Science Cloud by making language data from various sources easier to process with a wide range of analysis tools. Language resources stored in certified Claren repositories are findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. They provide a true treasure chest for researchers. Together with Europeana, we extended this collection with many thousands of digitized resources from the cultural heritage sector. Our efforts result in an open and interoperable infrastructure. Data and tools can be easily integrated leading to a strong network effect to the benefit of the research community.